Hi, I'm Jeff Sangstack, the author of this Infinite Skills course on Adobe After Effects. I want to give you an overview of what's going to be in this course. First of all, I'm going to explain what exactly After Effects is. You probably have a pretty good idea, but I'm going to show you about 20 different comps that give you a real overview of all the different things that After Effects can do. And comps are sort of like these little sub-projects that you work on inside an After Effects project. Then I'll go on to explain the After Effects workflow and workspace. The workflow is not linear. After Effects is a collection of modules, and you just basically cherry pick the modules that you want to work with when you create a project. I'll go on to explain how you create a project and import assets. And assets include video files, audio clips, still images, and graphics. Then I'll show you the fundamental way that you work inside After Effects, and that is to work with layers inside a composition. If you've worked with Photoshop, then you understand the concept of layers. If you haven't, I'll go over it very carefully. But basically, the difference between Photoshop and After Effects is that in After Effects, you can make things move and you can make effects change over time. You can animate effects. I'll go on to explain how you can modify and animate properties. And properties can include things like scale, rotation, or effect properties. And you can animate them over time. You can make them change with keyframes. One of the most powerful features of After Effects is that you can animate text on a per character, per word, or per line basis. Entire production studios focus on only this aspect of After Effects. I'll explain how you can draw and animate shapes how you can use paint and other brush tools, and how you can select objects in motion using the roto brush tool. And this is really pretty amazing when you think about it. In Photoshop, you can select an object using various selection tools, but it's just a static object. In After Effects, you can select something that's moving and then lift it off of the background. That's pretty remarkable. I'll explain how you use masks to highlight regions or morph objects, make objects change their shape over time. We'll work with track mats and blending modes. These are just great ways to make layers blend together visually. You can distort and animate objects with the Puppet tool. You can do all kinds of things to make them change their shape and move around. Then we'll move on to one of the big aspects of After Effects, effects. All kinds of effects, including effects from a company called Psychor. I devote an entire lesson to Psychor effects. We'll do some color correction and color enhancement. We'll do what's called changing time. We'll make things go in slow motion, reverse, freeze frame. We'll control properties with what's called parenting and expressions. You can take one layer and have it control another layer, or take one property and have it control other properties using parenting and expressions. We'll use composition techniques called nesting and pre-composing. These are great ways to organize your project. We'll work in 3D space with cameras and lights. We'll be able to move the lights around and move the cameras through 3D space. We'll create 3D shapes and text using an extrusion method and using Cinema 4D, a separate application that ships with After Effects. We'll track objects in motion. We can automatically follow something in motion and apply effects to that object. We'll stabilize shaky shots, like handheld shots. We'll track camera moves in simulated 3D space, meaning we'll take a video clip that was shot with a camera that was panning, or zooming, or trucking, or point of view, something like that, with some motion to the camera. Then we have After Effects analyze that camera move, so we can put objects into the scene to make it look like they're actually originally part of the original video. Then finally, when you've completed work on your comp, which is sort of that mini project, as I mentioned before, you want to turn it into a video clip that people can then see. That's called exporting or rendering your comp. So there are all sorts of things you can do with After Effects, and I'm going to cover all those things in this course. My goal is that you'll use what you've learned here to make some great-looking After Effects projects.